the same basic equations that we always have, the distance modulus, Kepler's laws, the very basic uh, velocity, distance, time, uh, centripetal um, motion um, equations from basic physics classes, the small angular formula, of course, because everything it, we see is from an angle, involves rate, um, um, uh, angular measurements, and, of course, knowing, uh, you know, light years and arc seconds and all those kinds of things. It's been on there every single year. Uh, the inverse square law and just understanding basic uh, circumference and area, surface, the volume of the sphere. Uh, the only equation that is specific to exoplanets is the equilibrium temperature, which is basically a theoretical temperature that a planet would have if it acted as a black body that was receiving radiation only from its parent star and then emitting that radiation away. That uh, helps to determine uh, if there is, if that planet is in the habitability zone. So the National Science Olympiad website has a lot of resources. Uh, there's an annotated sample exam from last year. Uh, there is a regional invitational uh, sample event from last year. Um, the last year's uh, event, um, 2015 astronomy event, uh, with the answer key is there, so you can download that and you and look at that because the format for this event this year is going to be exactly the same as it was last year. Um, and of course, it will have the link to these webinars. For resources, again, the uh, CD-ROM, astronomy CD-ROM, if you haven't bought that within the last five years, uh, that gives great background information on stellar evolution. Go to apod.nasa.gov to get images for any of the deep sky objects. That's a great place to search for that. Uh, Chandra for X-ray, uh, Hubble for optical, uh, the National Radio Observatory for radio, of course, Spitzer for infrared, um, and also, you know, the Kepler still has a website up there with a good image gallery and some descriptions. And on the AADSO website, the PowerPoint slide set that goes with this webinar will be listed there, will be posted there. Uh, the 2015 event is also posted there for you to download. Um, and when you um, look at the, if you download and look at the PowerPoint slide set um, for all of the deep sky objects in the notes section for those slides, I listed two or three of what I thought might be the best URLs to go for information uh, about the, the exoplanets. So um, Tad and I, uh, co-event supervisors, uh, here's our email address. However, we, if you have any question whatsoever that's sort of a clarification question, uh, if you have a, if something is sort of ambiguous, uh, and you want a further definition to make sure you're understanding it correctly, then you need to go to the National Science Olympiad website under the clarifications menu and post your question there. Uh, that question will be sent to us. We will answer it, and then NSO will post it on their website. And that way, if somebody else comes along and they have that same question, they will then go to that website, see if someone else has answered that question, see that it has, read the answer, and so that seriously eliminates a lot of email, uh, emailing back and forth between NSO uh, and, and coaches and teams. Uh, we are not allowed to answer any questions personally uh, because we might give two different teams slightly different information that might lead them astray, give somebody an edge. Uh, certainly nobody else would have heard that information, so it's best if we just everything is done through the clarification um, menu on the national website. So read the event description, uh, make sure you understand the content you're responsible for, make sure you know what your resource, what allowable resources there are that you can bring, um, use the webinar, this webinar for the overall sense of what the event is all about, download the PowerPoint presentation with the notes uh, if you want to do that. Use the coach's manual for astronomy if you need some background information. 
um, use the resources listed in the event description for the images and the content. Don't go rummaging around out there. I myself had a hard time with two or three of these objects because I kept reading conflicting information. And so I would uh, email Tad, who's actually um, his uh, doctoral work, he's, he's in the doctoral program, and exoplanets is actually his area of study. And so he's much more knowledgeable about this than I am. And so I kept asking him. And I so those are the ones where I made sure that I had URLs that would give you better information and you wouldn't get as confused as I got at certain points. Uh, download last year's event to study if you want to. And we are going to be, for event supervisors, uh, we are going to be putting together sample events for state competitions and for regional competitions uh, that will be accessible for event supervisors. Uh, and we may have also a sample one, just another sample one to use for our practice test. And uh, those will be available, all be available from the national website uh, to state directors. So good luck. And uh, Tad and I hope that we will see you in Menominee, Wisconsin in May 2016. Thank you.